Hey folks, welcome to the channel. So here we are in part three of the Feather Damascus Bowie build. In this one, I'm going to be doing the fittings, which is the guard, the pommel, the pommel nut, and the handle. So for this, the fittings I'm going to be using are going to be stainless steel. I just love the look of stainless steel. It shines up real nice. And this is the first time I've ever used this handle material. It's like a fake marble. And this one is called uh, Black Cherry. So we'll see how this goes. It looks like it'll be pretty cool. So come along. This one, again, is a little more complicated because it's a takedown. And everything's got to go together and come apart. Um, so stick around and let's see how we do this. Okay, so what we're going to do is work on the guard first. So there's the template for the guard. And it's going to be kind of like that on the on the knife there um, but what I want it's not just going to be a straight guard I want it to be a bit of an S so this side will go this way this side will go that way uh, ever so slightly so I don't really want to you know try to bend it or put it in the forge anything like that what I've decided to do is I've got this marked out here of how much stainless I'm going to need. This is actually 3 8 so it's really thick. So what I'm going to end up doing, if you can see this, I'm going to take the mill. I'm going to mill down an eighth on one side and an eighth on the other side. So the center is flat, but then I will be able to curve this side down and if that makes sense, curve this side up, or vice versa, however you want to think about it. So uh, it'll be a little bit of mill work, um, but um, I think it should work out. Then I'm going to slot it on the mill, um, put it on there, and uh, I'm going to use Aaron's tip from um, one of his last videos on fitting guards. Normally I would take the tang down, but this time I'm going to try his suggestion and just mill you know, 90% through into the, into the guard. So we'll see how that works out. If not, I got another piece. Okay, I've got my guard chucked up in the mill. Um, I've got a half inch cutter here because uh, it's the biggest one I have. First thing I'm going to do is a facing cut down the side so that I can flip this over and have them parallel. Um, if you're interested in like mill skills, go check out Quinn at Blondie Hacks. Um, her videos help me a lot. So when you get a mill, go there. Uh, but let's do this cut. All right, so here it is milled. So this should work out well, because it's gonna be like this. This side will, will drop here and I'll be able to remove some of this and I'll remove this piece and you get just an ever so slight curve, which is what I want. Okay, I milled the slot in the guard. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little ridge at the bottom of that which is a little narrower and that's the side that's gonna go here. So it sticks a bit here, but I'm gonna just drive it down here until it meets. And that is supposed to flush it up nicely against the shoulders. So let's give it a shot.
So I've got my template glued onto the guard. The tricky part is the shelf here. So um, it's kind of raised up a bit. I'm gonna have to do my best to trace this out onto the marking uh, fluid here. And um, so I have something to grind to. So there's the preliminary grind. Uh, you can see I went for just a slight S on it. I still need to take a file and do these little sections here, but it's coming along. So here's the guard, it's pretty much finished. I've sanded it down to 220. It's still got a couple little marks in it, but I've rounded the edges. Uh, it looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna move on to the pommel nut. And I forgot I also have a spacer to do that's gonna go uh, behind the guard. So pommel nut, spacer, uh, pommel, and, uh, and then we can do fit up and handle. So I'm doing the the nut that screws into the pommel. I think it's called a finial. And uh, normally, <laughs> the only stainless I have is that's big enough is this one inch, one inch, one and a quarter inch, whatever it is, bar. And I was thinking to myself, oh, I gotta cut this, I gotta make it square, then I gotta turn it. Uh, I don't have a lathe, so I'd be turning it on the mill first. And then I thought to myself, wow, I got one of these. So I had one, I cut, cut the bottom off. It'll be a lot easier because I'll have a better starting point. So um, let's go do this on the mill. Well, I got my uh, mill cranked all the way up um, and it just, you can see how much room I have uh, for the head. And that's because of uh, one of these chucks. So if you're gonna buy a chuck for your mill, Maybe not get this one. Uh, give yourself as much vertical clearance as you can. But I'm ready to drill the hole and uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, I got the tap set up in the, in the uh, mill just so I'll get it nice and straight. Uh, I'm gonna hand tap it, but I'm just using this for um, to make sure it's straight. Okay, so we've threaded the inside of this. Now I just want to take this hex piece off. This is a half inch, so it'll go into a half inch collet. I'm just going to take this down on the grinder close. Uh, actually, I'll probably just take it all the way down and then hold this with the collet. Okay, folks, this is how I'm going to do the finial. I've got one of these little guys locked in the vise here. And I'm going to take the piece of steel that I've got chucked up in a half inch end mill, or sorry, half inch collet. And then I'm going to move it down across this bit. And that's going to take, put my taper in there and um, reduce it. So um, let's give it a shot. So 
So there's the finished um, finial pommel nut. Um, it's uh, sanded to 220. Um, the only thing left actually is just to put a, a hole um, through the kind of the center and part of it um, to put something to actually spin it on there and it'll be like an eighth inch hole. So I'm starting on the handle material. Um, this came in a round cylinder. Uh, I just kind of drew the tang on after I just put some flats on the sides and uh, I know I need to have this at an angle so I just put some angles on these. I don't know if you can see it but I kind of drew the tang on here so that I could clamp this in a vise and just start to drill my holes for the tangs. That's what I'm going to do now. And uh, I've never used this stuff before, but man, when you grind it, it smells terrible. So you certainly want to be using uh, um, safety equipment and not breathing that stuff in. And now the long process of uh, using this to open up this hole. So I finished shaping the handle, um, got it sanded down to 220. Um, you can see there was some bubbles in this, so I'm not too pleased with that, but I'll just have to epoxy those and, uh, and then sand it down. But uh, I love the look, it looks really good. So next um, step, you'll see here that there's some play here and here. So next step is to actually put some steel pins, some like lineup pins, right through the guard or the, the spacer, kind of halfway into the guard, and then they'll seat um, into the handle on either side so that the handle, the spacer, the guard all line up perfectly for exactly where they're going to be. And then I'll do the same for the uh, pommel they'll be into the guard, or in, yeah, into the handle and into the guard. Why do I keep saying guard? Into the, uh, into the pommel. Sorry folks, I lost the footage uh, for doing the uh, lineup pins, but uh, generally here's what uh, I've done. Um, after I slotted and shaped the uh, spacer, I put um, holes through it, and you'll notice they are offset, and that's because um, you, you want you want it to fit only one way. Um, if you put them across from each other, sometimes you get confused which way to go. Um, and then I just mark one side, which side is, is the handle side. So I know that's the handle side. So then after I do that, I end up um, putting it on the handle and then just kind of drilling through. Um, and then 
taking these pins, putting a little sharp point in them, putting those into the handle. And then I also do the same thing. I actually took this, used some super glue, and I don't see, I got it flipped over already. Um, super glued it on here and then went through those same holes again after I placed it on the um, on there. And you can see they're just barely through this. So when it's fit up, oh, see those didn't come out far enough. Okay, it's snug on there and this doesn't move. And then that slides on here and this always stays in the same spot. And I did the same thing um, for this guy and it fits on nicely onto that. Hey folks, so here we are done uh, this part of uh, the build. I've got um, everything fitted up, everything kind of ground uh, and sanded to 220. Um, the, actually this one's just filed so it needs to be sanded, but the whole thing, I need final sanding on the whole thing, but you can see the final fit up um, and or the, the fittings, how it will look. Um, We've got the pommel, the nut. I love the, uh, the handle. Um, it feels great in the hand. You know, you can see the, the fit up on the, uh, on the guard it looks amazing. Super happy with that. So next video, um, we'll do the final sanding. Obviously the etch, make it come out really nice. We'll do final sanding on all of the, uh, the fittings. Um, you know, sand the handle. This is only to 220, so there's some work to do in the handle. Make it pop, and uh, we'll sharpen it and uh, and do a sheath. So stay tuned, folks.